I gotta warn you guys before we get this video started. This video is only for people wanting to have the highest level quality they can. If you want something easy that you can just turn your GoPro on and go, this is not the video, click off of it. But if you want audio quality out of your motorcycle helmet and you wanna get videos like this, they're always a bit scary because it's like, dude, should have all of the engine at our bed like it is because this will be the last time. Because it has this cafe racery looking look. Flicking the bike back and forth. Uh, I Thank you, Mountain Motorsports, for the motorcycle. I think a lot of you guys would really like the level of engine. Then in that case, smash the like button for me giving you guys all my freaking helmet secrets and stay tuned because we are gonna get you guys to that quality in this video as efficiently as I possibly can. Friends, it is that time again. I've got my new helmet, my Atlas 2.0. I've got the review done. I'm totally done with all the product stuff of this helmet. So now I can upgrade my new motor vlogging and first ride helmet from the Atlas 1.0 and we can upgrade everything to 2.0. Uh, let's get this thing started. As you guys can see from our top down camera, it doesn't take a lot to get this helmet to this point. The key differentiators for this entire video, they're gonna take you from making meh content to high level content are two things. This audio recorder and this ND filter. Those two things combined are going to be the keys, the secret sauce that is going to make this the highest quality you possibly can. Are there cheaper ways? Yes, and I'll touch on those throughout this video, but we have a GoPro Hero 8, an ND filter, a Senna, you don't really need that. Uh, mounting situation for your helmet. This is a secret little thing. Rurock hasn't put this out yet, but they are going to, so I'm gonna go ahead and use mine. We have an audio recorder. We have uh, Velcro pads. We have a nice microphone. Now I'm gonna give you guys cheaper options throughout this video for the ways you could do this on a budget, but I this is the stuff I use. You know what I mean? I'm recording every week doing motorcycle content. This is the stuff that I trust to make my videos with. It's super minimal, it's super simple, and let's get this thing going. Uh, first things first is the camera. I personally am using a GoPro Hero 8 with uh, some ND filter. By the way, if I forget names and stuff like that, I'm gonna put all the information for everything I use in the description or the top comment. So if you guys are curious about the items, go check there for an actual link to that product. I have gotten really good use out of my Hero 8 with an ND filter. An ND filter lets me have a more like kind of motion blurry effect, which I prefer on my videos. You might be like a ton of people that are, you know, you want 60 frames a second, which that's totally fine. Do you boo boo? Uh, on my content, I want 24 frames a second and that's what my ND filter gets me. As far as the colors go with the GoPro, I'm pretty happy with them. I don't have to do a lot of work with them once I'm editing my video. So for now, I'm gonna stick with GoPros, but don't worry, this setup is gonna make it very easily to go back and forth from any helmet. So the core setup can always stay there and you can always flop out the, flop out, you can always switch out the action camera and the audio recorder relatively easily. So first things first, as far as I go, I want people to see as close to what I can see. So I always want my GoPro mounted in this region. It gives the lens of the camera as close as it can to my eye line. So you guys watching my videos can see what I'm seeing. So first off, let's get the GoPro attached. I'm gonna show you guys how simple this is. As you guys can see with the Atlas, uh, it has a very weird situation up here. And previously I've done JB Weld here to give me a solid point. With this new bracket, it literally fits perfectly onto the Atlas, look at that. It's also super minimal, it's not gonna take up a lot of space, and it's just as simple as a GoPro adapter. The only thing you really have to do here is make sure it's in the right spot and it's right in the middle. Hold that thing down to get everything adhesive to it. You guys can see from that top down shot, it is inside of that crevice and it's not going anywhere. This side came up a little bit. We have adhesion, we have adhesion. We are good. Okay, now all it takes is to put the GoPro bang on the spot 
and look at the simplicity of that. That's literally all it takes, my dudes. Um, I don't know when Roarock's gonna have this. You, They might have it out by the time you guys are watching this video, but as, as far as when I'm filming this, they don't sell this yet, but it is coming very soon. So you guys can see it gives you plenty of maneuverability depending on the type of motorcycle you're riding. You can put it up or down. And then you just lock your GoPro on and that's it. Now, GoPro makes something called a media mod. It makes this thing a little bigger and it puts a mic port in the back of the GoPro. If you want to do audio directly into the GoPro, you can buy the media mod. It's not that expensive. That way, your microphone that's picking up your voice inside the helmet is gonna go directly into the GoPro. You don't have to worry about syncing audio clips, but the audio recording inside the GoPro is nowhere close to as good as even a little recorder like this. So, uh, next step, now we've got the GoPro on there, is going to be to mount the audio recorder. This is a Tascam DR10L. Uh, I'm pretty new to this. I was using a different uh, audio recorder, but it was a little bigger and I could actually feel the weight of it. I've been doing some tests with this little guy. It's only 200 bucks and I'm gonna Velcro it to the back of this helmet. I did some testing. I am not even able to feel this. It also has a 10 hour runtime and records extremely high quality audio, which is exactly what you need when you have an interesting audio situation that is riding in a motorcycle helmet. Let's get the recorder installed. My goal with the recorder is I have a little bit of weight up front with the GoPro. I want to have a little bit of weight behind with the audio recorder. Ideally, that's going to balance my helmet out. Simple, you know, high quality Velcro stuff. You can literally buy this anywhere. So one part's going to go on the back of the audio recorder like so. And the other part is going to go on the back of the helmet. In the testing I did, I mounted it just like this upside down, and that feeds the audio wire from the microphone directly into the back. Works out super well. The only question is, do you use the hard Velcro on the unit or off the unit? What I'm gonna do is put the soft Velcro, you guys know there's one side of Velcro. I'm gonna put that on the actual audio recorder, and then I'm gonna put the other one on the helmet. Now the way I'm gonna make sure that fits perfectly, this is just double-sided tape, super simple stuff. Boom, just like that. All right, I've got the uh, Velcro on my audio recorder. I'm now gonna put the other piece of Velcro on that piece, get it to stick, and now this way, I know that when I attach this to the helmet, I know it's gonna be in the perfect spot. Also, we can use Velcro because this is so light. If you're using something like a bigger audio recorder, you know, be careful with Velcro. So I'm going to put this thing right there. One nice thing about this setup now is when I want to take my audio out, all I have to do is pull this off the Velcro. Boom, I can go dump it on my computer or whatever. And when I'm ready to record again, boom. As you guys can see, it's not going to go anywhere. I'm not worried about that at all. Okay, uh, we have audio recorder in the back. We have GoPro in the front. We are getting there, ladies and gentlemen. Next up is the microphone. Now, the one I'm using is a little pricey. It's called a Sennheiser MKE-2. It costs about 350 bucks. So uh, if you don't want to buy a lapel microphone that costs as much as the freaking GoPro that you're recording with, there is a microphone that I use a lot of called a Purple Panda. It's on Amazon, costs 30 bucks, and the quality is relatively close to what you're gonna get out of this $350 microphone. If you guys you know, don't know if you really wanna spend that much money, I imagine a lot of you guys don't wanna spend this kind of money. Remember, I do this professionally, I do this full time, so it is worth me investing in as good of a quality microphone as I possibly can. I also get surprisingly a lot of questions of people saying, how am I able to hear you inside of your helmet? lapel microphone, either into the GoPro or into an audio recorder. All right, so let's get the microphone placed. Uh, through a decade of filming myself in a helmet, I've realized that the ideal place almost on every helmet is going to be right in here on the side of the cheek pad, about right here. You guys see I have tape on the end of this microphone. That just helps me keep the microphone in the exact same place and it never moves. Remember, I set this thing up and I never touch it. It's just, everything's ready to go whenever I need it. So, uh, this is probably gonna be, we're gonna move this so we have a more flat surface. This might be hard for a lot of you guys to see, but hopefully you can. So what we're gonna do is 
thread this cable in. By the way, another nice thing about this microphone, I'm gonna show you guys in a minute. But for now, let's worry about placement. I'm moving the microphone wire underneath the strap. That's gonna allow me to route this wire better in a minute because obviously we have way more wire than we need right now. And we don't want all that wire just poking out of our helmet because it's gonna get snatched on something. I'm just placing it right there on the edge. You know, yellow tape, microphone heads right here. This little furry thing on the end is called a dead cap. Uh, it's very cheap and what that's gonna do is help alleviate some of the wind that you're gonna be having in your helmet. You know, as a motorcycle rider, you're gonna have a lot of wind that's gonna be your main thing you're fighting with. So make sure to get a dead cap. When you buy a microphone, most of the time they come with dead cats, and I know for a fact that the Purple Panda does. Now, you guys see we have this much cable, and that only has to run to our audio recorder right here, right? So there's no need for all this cable. What I typically do is I just pull my padding out, and I stuff the cable into my helmet. Something that you might be thinking is like, oh shit, is that gonna like create a hot spot in your helmet and you know hurt over time? So what I would recommend for you guys to make sure you don't have a hot spot, plug your mic in to your thing, route the cable in, and then just move your hand in here and just kind of separate the cable out so that there's no like big bunch of it. And you know, it's pretty simple. Once you get that done, put your padding back together. Depending on the helmet, it will be hard or easy. Actually, it'll probably be hard on every helmet. So as you guys can see, we have the lapel mic in the helmet now. We have the GoPro in the helmet, and the only thing you can tell about the lapel mic is this little guy that pokes out. Pokes out right here in the back, goes straight into the audio recorder. If you're recording video, and you just want good high quality video and audio, that's all you need. That's literally the full setup. I told you guys, there's another reason I really like this microphone on top of the fact that it has good quality. Our little audio recorder, if you notice where the microphone goes in, right here, it has a little threaded hole. You can actually plug it in and lock it down, and now this audio recorder cannot be removed from the microphone. So let's just say um, the Velcro sucks one day and this thing falls off, it's just gonna be hanging on my helmet, it's not gonna go anywhere this is not going to come unplugged. That hasn't happened to me very often, but it has happened a couple times and it's very annoying when you're, if your microphone's not plugged into this, it's not recording anything. That is going to get you that level of audio that I get in my videos. So if that's all you wanted to know, there you go. It's pretty simple. And I gotta say, this is probably the most straightforward setup and minimal setup that I've ever made. All right, so the final thing that I'm gonna need in my helmet is a Senna. And I know a lot of you guys are like, Jace, there's a Rurock Shockwave that you can put in. I actually have a Shockwave installed in here. Uh, but when we do our camera car stuff and our bike reviews, our first rides, I have to talk to my guys in the camera car and if I'm gonna ride with buddies, I don't want to easily be able to talk with them. If you're only gonna be answering phone calls and listening to music, Shockwave would work fine. But I got buddies I need to talk to. So I'm gonna install a Senna. This is the 50R. The reason I'm not using the 50S is because something that I realized on my last helmet that annoyed the shit out of me. If you guys notice here, this module is just like the 50S is, this is the 30K. There's this little bump at the bottom. I hate that my helmet cannot sit flat. I know it seems like a little deal, but it's a huge deal when you can't sit your helmet down all the time. With the uh, 50R, I'm gonna install this here on the side, and it's actually going to sit just like that on the helmet. It's not gonna go down anymore and I can easily thread these wires in. All right, so I am just going to get to uh, installing the center real quick and uh, we'll wrap this video up afterwards. Okay, so guys, that's final helmet. We got GoPro in the front. We have a Senna on the side that lets the helmet sit flat, and we have an audio recorder in the back. You now have a fully integrated, the entire helmet is just one thing, there's no wires hanging, there's, it's a very clean setup. If you move everything around, nothing's gonna fall out. We're utilizing Velcro twice and a 3M sticky on the other. 
So that's it for a helmet setup. If you're looking for a helmet that you can grab, go ride a motorcycle and get very good high quality video, very high quality audio, and make really awesome videos here on YouTube with, this is the setup that I would personally recommend if you want that quality level. Like I said, there's also cheaper versions of doing this. You don't need the audio recorder, you certainly don't need the Senna, and if you want just the media mod and use the Purple Panda to go into that, by all means do that, it's probably gonna be okay with you. Another thing that I've gotten a lot of questions on over the years, because this is you know, probably the eighth iteration of a helmet camera setup that I've used, your helmet is going to determine a ton of what your audio sounds like. If there's more wind noise, if there's less wind noise, where you can place the microphone is gonna be a huge deal. You guys have to know that what I'm showing you is for this helmet only. If you go and use a different helmet, you're probably gonna have an entirely different circumstance that you're gonna have to deal with. So it is probably gonna be a lot of playing around and testing, going for a ride, seeing what your audio and video sounds like and look like, and just keep doing that over and over again with that helmet. And eventually you'll find out where that helmet likes the microphone to be, where's the easiest way to mount the GoPro. Uh, for my user case, this is what I'm using. All right guys, so that's the whole setup, but what the hell would this video be if I just showed you the setup and didn't show you how it actually looks and sounds? So we're gonna take this helmet over on the MT-10, go for a little bit of ride, and I'll show you guys what this looks and sounds like. All right guys, just to prove to you guys that this actually sounds good, you guys can see we have the GoPro on. This is how I talk and yeah, I don't have the bike on. This is an example of stationary with the bike on. And uh, let's go. All right, so guys, here's an example of us going 50 miles an hour in traffic, which is pretty regular. And uh, hopefully the audio sounds good. Minimal wind noise, I hope I'm very clear. I don't know what this car is doing. This is what it sounds like when Chase is in the middle of a turn, not really focusing on talking, but actually focusing on not low siding his motorcycle. And just because I know you guys are curious what this sounds like at over 100. Sounds like that. And that, my friends, is a pro helmet audio setup. All right, guys, so <laughs> the proof is in the pudding and you just saw the pudding. So uh, that's, that's this thing in use. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it helps you guys out figuring out, you know, whatever your helmet setup needs to be. If you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful, it would be a huge deal to hit that like button and share this video to somebody, one of your friends that rides, that wants to start doing video and audio stuff in their helmet. Uh, you know, this, this has been 10 years of knowledge that I'm just, I'm just throwing out for you guys. But, you know, my hope is that I can put videos out like this that show you guys exactly how I'm getting my level of quality without, you know, while I'm writing. And that way maybe some of you guys can like up your video game. So hopefully we can all raise the ships together. And guys, that's all I got. I'm Chase on Two Wheels. Thank you for watching this video and technically riding around with me in this one. I'll see you guys on the next one. Alright, sure crew, let me know what your favorite part of the helmet is. Is it the Senna? Is it the GoPro? The ND filter? The stupidly expensive lapel microphone? My hat that's about to fall off? Let me know in the comments, and I'll see you guys in the next one.